related to those towers in a future video so I'm saying it out loud in this video so then when I edit this video I remember to discuss that I don't know why God made me leave my leave so many different things at home and have to go back twice to get them but when those things happen I feel like there's a reason and who knows I've done that and on my way back saw a, saw that an accident happened right in front of me which, which means that had I not left the stuff, I could have been a part of the discombobulation, right? So shout out to God, cause she keeps me safe in her bosom. Bruh. Oh my goodness, y'all doing the most. Y'all doing the most for Christmas. And it's ugly. It looks like they collected all of the possible Christmas decorations from every raggedy trailer park they could find and stuck it in their front yard like not in any particular type of order let me see if this lady gonna play games with me at the cleaners oh man it's packed in here i'm gonna make a parking spot i'm just going to the cleaners i'm doing like privileged people do <laughs> is the next holy roller but i don't think that's for every single line in the song every single verse every single line of every single verse in every single song that's doing the absolute most really you just gonna go ahead because you're privileged go ahead bitch allegedly there's a fedex in here let's just see shall we because I would hate to carry this box in here and then not be the case. So, got my privilege trip taken care of. And it went as suspected until after I got to my car and unloaded the groceries. Because I looked up to see where the cart return was directly across from me. And one of the um, stock boys was out collecting the carts. And I'm old enough to be flattered by the fact that the stock boys at the grocery store got little crushes on me. Like, it's about four, at least four of them. So, I don't know, maybe all of them do. <laughs> I think I've even caught them talking about me a time or two. Two tops. But anywho, as I was looking for the cart return, there was this guy walking by me smoking his cigarette. 
old school cigarette, the paper kind, not the electronic kind. <laughs> but he looks just like a guy I used to work with who is racist. He has no idea he's racist. He's, he, I'm sure he, he's convinced he's not, but... And incidentally, he has a brother who is not racist, for whom I work directly. Anywho, um, so this guy that reminds me of this racist guy I know, he just walked by me, kept looking straight ahead, and reached out for my cart, and <laughs> and so I just, and grabbed it. As I was looking up, he just reached over and was grabbed a cart to take it in, and so I just was like, thank you. So I'm sure he felt like he did his racial redemption deed for the day, and that was sweet of him. I appreciate it. Meanwhile, though, the stock boy that was collecting the carts, he wasn't feeling that. He felt some kind of way that dude grabbed my cart because he wanted to get my cart for me. And I think, and I'm old enough to be flattered by that. It was very, very sweet. So shout out to his mama. Shout out to mi hermana who raised that young fellow in such a way. It was very sweet. The golden stay with me. Why am I so emotional? Why are you so? Because you keep... This is not a because you keep choosing the same fuck boys, Mary. You growing up, but you still choosing people who are not. I want to talk about Mary, cause I have love for Mary, and I respect what she, I respect what what she what she what she has come through. I'm not the biggest Mary fan in the world, but I watched a, a good chunk of her journey, and I got some patting of the back to give to her. Although I'm not right there in the front row every time. You come out and put it on the stage, girl. She still makes some uncomfortable choices. And that's because Rome wasn't built overnight. But that bitch got the foundation laid. And if she really wanted, she can have her Rome. Everybody can, but she really wants it. I would like to just sit down with her and for her to feel like, feel comfortable knowing that she can just talk uninhibitedly. Although she will, on occasion during the conversation, feel judged. Ultimately, she will know why. And she will know that it is in 100% love. Oh, I have so many groceries to go. Y'all pray for me that I'm able to do this shit and get this shit. I can, I refuse to take for granted that just because it's cold outside, I shouldn't put the groceries away in a timely fashion. Put the groceries away in a timely fashion and take the dishes out of the dishwasher and put them away. Be a, be a great wife. Do that. Could you? And clean the house while you're at it. Let's just go on and get our domesticity on. Also, we just got new locks on the doors, y'all. I'm excited. We should have done it a long time ago. It really takes the aggravation out of coming and going, especially with what I just had to go through when I left and had to come back twice and get two different things, one of which was a purse, with which I couldn't do anything without it. I'm gonna consult the God in me and I'm gonna get it together, y'all. I'm gonna get it together. Because 2016 has whooped everybody's ass, self-included. And it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna be a New Year's resolution type shit because I don't, I believe I, I I believe that most of y'all on some bullshit with New Year New Year's resolution resolution. Even though I wrote an entire article about it, but that's pretty much to, to say the, the article pretty much said you did say although it was in in a more candy coated gentle way, it wasn't in my natural tough love way. But the but well, it kind of was. Anyway, the article was just talking about New Year's resolution. It's basically saying if you got something you want to change in your life, then you're going to change it right then. You're not going to wait till Monday. You're not going to wait till, till the beginning of Sunday. You're not going to wait till next month. And you're not going to wait till your, after your birthday. You're not going to wait till after the holiday where you can uh, eat all the, where you feel like you can uh, eat all the shit you want on a holiday. You're going to change it right then. Right then. You're not gonna wait till if it's a if it's a diet thing. You're not gonna wait till you eat all the shit you got in the kitchen first, just because you don't want to be wasteful and throw it away. You are going to give or throw it away, and you're gonna start right now. This just turned into an accountability confessional, didn't it? I'm gonna go in this house and get and be and y'all know when I get tipsy I am actually wiser and more intuitive so I'm gonna go in this house and, and become tipsy and be productive take the first shot before before I even take the first grocery item out of the trunk. Lego.